And a big hello to you, Jacqueline. My tea is already made tonight. As soon as I got home from work, I put on a pot. I'm absolutely drenched today. It's not what you would expect my job to go into, but uh, I'll explain what happened. I was at work, and uh, I was just getting ready to wrap up the shift. It was five minutes to seven o'clock, and we had to, uh, they call it uh, counting the narcotics. Uh, anyhow, we have to uh, keep track of all of the medication, and we have to do a count at the end of every shift, and at the beginning of every shift. So we were just finishing our count, and uh, one of the clients came in and uh, let us know that there was smoke pouring into the kitchen, and I stuck my head out of the door to the medication room, it's right beside the uh, dining room, and sure enough, uh, there was smoke all right, and I stuck my head in the room and a uh, heavy, heavy smell of uh, almost metallic, like aluminum, uh, melting. Uh, so we called the fire department and we evacuated all of our clients to uh, a central spot just outside the building and we got them back in and nobody got hurt and it wasn't really a big deal in the end. But in the interim, I was standing outside for 20-25 minutes and uh, of course when you're evacuating a building you don't stop to get your hat or your raincoat or anything like that you just leave the building so absolutely drenched <laughs> from top to bottom uh, I guess kind of funny in the end I'm glad uh, nobody was hurt and the fire department was called and shift change came in and uh, uh, some of the staff were uh, talking about the firefighters and how good looking they were and my god <laughs> anyhow that that's the kind of place that I work with uh, work at it's kind of crazy uh, but I love it it's definitely a lot safer than my last job I uh, love my clients love having uh, uh, people that I can sit down and talk with and uh, just uh, treat as peers uh, they're pretty cool people uh, when you get to know them. And, you know, that was uh, pretty much my day, and uh, my week has been extremely busy. Um, can't tell you much more than that, uh, rather than explaining all of the things that I do at work. Um, it's pretty much the same stuff that I've done in the past, just more of it and more responsibilities. Uh, I really like it. I really like the people. I really like working with people. And they all treat me really nice, despite the fact that uh, a lot of them are in crisis. It's really a, a neat environment. Uh, so, so saw the news about what was happening in Spain this evening. Uh, I'm glad you're uh, safe and sound in the Netherlands. And uh, I hope that everything is going well for you. I almost feel like I don't even have to ask that anymore because you're just so good at everything that you do in your life. Uh, you've rocked it uh, right from the top to the bottom. Uh, again, probably one of the reasons why I'm so proud of you. I feel so confident in your abilities that I don't really worry that much about you. But you know that uh, I'm here if you want to talk or if you need anything. Um, I do tell everybody about you, and I tell everybody about Luke. Uh, the two of you have been so incredible. Um, Luke just graduated, of course, uh, and I know that he's worked so hard for that, as much as he doesn't seem to be overly uh, enthused about graduation. It was something that he had to work really hard for, and school hasn't been uh, the easiest for him. And uh, another reason why I'm proud is uh, for a lot of the same reasons I'm proud of you. Uh, you have your causes and you fight for them, and I think that you're going to be 
uh, quite an activist after you graduate. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you do with your life. And your brother has all of those same qualities about him, despite the fact that you're polar opposites, um, especially politically. I couldn't imagine two more polar opposite uh, people, but everything that he wants is uh, for bettering the world as well. And if I can raise two kids or have two children who grow up and they just want to make the world a better place to live, then I don't know what more a parent could ask of their children. Uh, so, yeah, that's about it. And I know I'm always telling you how proud I am of you and everything, but it goes beyond that. I'm like one of those uh, proud peacock fathers with the stroller and the baby in the stroller, and you can see the look of pride uh, on his face. Uh, that's basically me in a nutshell. And I'm always bragging and gloating about the two of you. Oh, I wish you could be here right now. Oolong tea, the cream of the crop. And I think I finally brewed it absolutely perfectly. And I love putting it. <laughs> Somebody was telling me the other day it looked like I was drinking hard liquor. Um, it's just the color of the tea. I love seeing it, um, especially through crystal. It's uh, something else. And this stuff is just, it's so pure. And uh, it's so tasty in, in the smell. And so nice to finally have gotten the brewing, the brewing uh, down pat on it. I think that you would really like this if you ever get an opportunity. Um, this is the can that I got. And I got myself a pretty good size. I got myself uh, a bag full of it, a smaller much smaller than a tin, but uh, the amount that I bought wouldn't fit in the entire tin. I'll show you what it looks like. It's really, really neat. I don't know if you can see that. But it is absolutely to die for. And you know me, I've never been a tea drinker. So this is very different for me. Somebody mentioned uh, on my Facebook that I'm becoming a tea granny. I laughed so hard when I read that uh, comment. A guy that, uh, a guy that uh, is from my hometown. It's so nice to be able to send you these messages, these videos. I think I'm going to do this more often if you want. Um, I just thought it would be a neat way to communicate, especially with the time difference. I can't always get to chat with you face to face and I thought this would be a real novel way of doing it. Another neat thing that I realized is that growing up when I um, left home and I moved to a small community called Capascasing up north, um, I could have been a million miles away for all that mattered um, because you couldn't just pick up the phone because a, a long distance call was like a dollar or two per minute and it was really expensive back then and there was no internet and there were no chat apps or anything like that and now even though you literally are a million miles away I love the fact that I can still chat with you and I can send videos like this or if the time difference is right and I'm catching you when you're coming in and before I'm heading out. Um, it's really great that we can talk face-to-face -face video wise. So modern technology, one of the greatest things that it ever accomplished. And I guess the only other thing is my Google Play card that I bought. I spent 25 bucks. I'm not sure what I'm going to buy with it yet, but you know me and how much I love my music.
One thing I have found is that when you buy music, instead of downloading it for free off of different internet sites, um, when you download it, the music is so much richer. Uh, you get more tonal quality. It'll never beat the old vinyl LPs that were out back in the 1970s and 1980s. But it definitely is a lot richer than what you would normally get from just an ordinary MP3 file. So, I haven't figured out what I'm going to buy yet, but uh, I'll probably let you know when I do, okay? In the meantime, enjoy your studies. I know you're working really hard all the time. And uh, I want you to be able to make sure that you take some time for yourself. And, uh, yeah, make sure you say hello to everybody. And have fun. And I'll see you the next time, okay? I love you, and I miss you, and I'm proud of you. Bye.